In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the icon bullets by Unlimited Elements. I'm also going to show you how you can turn the icon bullets into sort of a navigation tabs for a carousel inside of Unlimited Elements. And I'm also going to show you how you can add remote arrows to control, to remote control your tabs and your layout. Without no more further ado, let's get started. To get started with our icon bullets, we're going to want to make sure that we have unlimited elements installed and activated on our WordPress website. Icon bullets are a free widget inside of unlimited elements. You can navigate into creative widgets or you can search in the search box over here for icon bullets and you will find it. Hover over it and click install that will add it to your Elementor page builder. I'm going to jump into the page builder and start showing you how you can use this widget. So first of all, I'm going to make a two column layout. So let's go over here for two columns and let's change the section height to fit to screen just so it's centered over here on the screen. Jumping into the widgets pane and I'm going to search for icon bullets. Drag that inside of my column and as you can see what this widget does it adds a list of bullets and each bullet is represented by an icon. A bullet can have a, a title, some text and it can be also be linkable. Later on in this tutorial I will also show you how you can connect this widget with other widgets using unlimited elements to achieve advanced kind of tab layouts. Over here inside of direction, we can choose the direction that we want. Row is pretty standard, I'm going to leave it. One nice feature that we have over here, we have the opportunity to change the number of columns. Right now you can see it's just one column, but if I change this to two, you can see how fastly that adapts to a kind of a two column layout in each row. Gap is for the gap between these, and we can also turn on and off a separator between the title and the text. So everything over here is pretty straightforward. I'm going to start creating my design. So I'm going to go for one column and over here inside of the items, I'm just going to delete the last item because I want only three items. This is a regular Elementor repeater and start going inside of my items. Over here, I'm going to call that a pick a design and for the icon I'm going to search for let's say some swatches and the other one is going to be for customize so this is kind of like three steps that we're going to have on a website and so we have customize we can go for a brush maybe and the last one is going to be print. Awesome. So let's go over here, find a printer icon. And of course you can upload your own SVGs if you want to. But uh, right now I'm just going to show this this way. Inside of general, I'm going to take down the gap to maybe 10 or 15 pixels looking good. And let's go into the style tab. Over here we have some padding for the content. And uh, we can determine the normal hover and active state of each one of these. Now, right now active is not relevant because it's not connected to any widget, but let's go over the regular settings over here. I do not want a border. Let's go for item background. Let's change the item background to white. And maybe let's go into icon and change the icon width a little bit. Let's change the text. One of them I want black and for the long text, let's go for some text color over here. I think this is starting to look pretty good. Let's go into, maybe let's add some background color to our section. So I'm going to click over here on the section, style, 
and let's add a subtle gray over here looking good back into the icon bullets add some radius so that's rounded and one nice thing that you can do over here is you can actually override the separate colors of the icon so in my layout i'm just going to add an image over here on the right side let's select an image i'm going to upload some images that i uploaded earlier and i'm going just to select this one so what i want to do is actually get the colors from over here to my bullets so i'm going to click on the bullets go back into content items and what I want to do instead of changing the colors for all of them in style what I'm going to do is click over here override colors and over here you have an option to choose separate kind of colors for each one of these so what I want is the icon background not the icon itself so that's over here and to get the color I'm going to use my color sampler and I'm going to click on the blue color over here and select it so you can see that now I have a blue color inside of the first item in the list so you can choose to highlight just one of these or you can uh, go for as many as you want so over here I'm going to use the color sampler again get the pink color I love this color sampler I mean it works so good override icon background you can see you can override all sorts of stuff so let's go for it last one and look how nicely that is when we have the same kind of colors inside of our design I'm going to the section and I'm going to make my layout a bit less wide let's go for something like that and over here in the column I'm going to vertical align to middle so that was the first part of the overview and now we're going to do some advanced stuff so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to change this image into a carousel and what I want to achieve is that these bullets will be able to control the carousel so each time one of these are highlighted there's going to be a different image over here so right now this was for basic users and now we're going to go to the next part which is for advanced users and as I stated before to use the icon bullets you just need the free version of limited elements but if you want to achieve what I'm doing now you're going to need the pro version so let's go into the widgets pane and I'm going to search for image card carousel which is a pro widget inside of unlimited elements drag that inside over here and you can see it's sort of a carousel let's delete our image from here we don't need that anymore and let's start customizing our carousel so over here I'm going to change the number of items to one and let's go into layout and I'm just going to turn off everything except for the image so we don't need arrows we don't need bullets we don't need content now we have only an image over here and inside of general I'm going to turn autoplay off let's upload our images so we need just three because over here we have three and we want these two to sync together and I'm going to start selecting my images the first image I think is this one second image this one and the third image I'm going to use this one awesome inside of style I'm going to make my image higher so let's push that up a little bit over here and inside instead of image type cover I'm going to do image type contain so that doesn't crop my image inside of item I'm going to make my background color clear that will clear the background color and now it's actually transparent next part is going back into content and in content widgets what I'm going to do is just I'm going to turn on 
enable remote connection, and enable sync. So right now, we've turned on the sync for this one. And what we want to do is turn on the sync for the icon bullet. So we're going back into the icon bullet. So I'm going to click on that once. And over here in connect widget settings, we're going to turn on enable and connect as well. And now you can see that when I click on the different items, it navigates my carousel. So this is sort of acting as a remote control and also syncing together with what I have on the right side over here, which is pretty awesome. To finish up this tutorial, what I'm going to do is add an active state for the bullets over here. So let's jump into style and icon. And in active state, I'm going to change the icon width just so it's wider than the regular state. And now when I click on them, you can see it's getting that state so we know which one is selected. Another uh, kind of visual, visual uh, thing that I want to add to the active state is in the item. So I'm going to active. And what I'll do is add some shadow. So right now you can see it's adding some shadow to the active state. Let's make that shadow a little bit more subtle. So let's go for 30 pixels and push down the opacity and maybe play around let's move that 10 pixels vertically there you go so i like it really subtle but you can see that it helps us represent which item is active last thing i'm going to do just to show you a couple of ideas for your designs is I'm going to add sort of a border indication on the active state. So let's add a solid border. And instead of that being around the whole item, which is also pretty nice in many cases, what I'll do is I'll actually turn off the links over here and I'll make it only on the left side. So you can see that now it's just adding a small little border on the left side. To finish up this tutorial, I'm going to throw in my layout some remote arrows. And the remote arrows is actually a free widget. So let's throw that inside over here. And now you can see that this is acting as a remote control for my layout over here. And you could place that wherever you want, however you want. This has tons of customization options. But I'm going to stop over here and let you brainstorm yourself and think what kind of awesome layouts you can start making with this. So I wanna thank you guys for joining and I'll see you in the next video.